Hello, everyone. Uh, so a little bit of snapshot, uh, snapshot of URL, where we are, how things are moving. Uh, so uh, as you may have heard, we've been working on a printing process to uh, print different devices into Surface, create different product. Our focus right now is in micro LED, but we are working on a lot of other things in the background that we'll uh, hopefully announce soon. Um, we are uh, internally, we are developing custom displays for a strategic market. We are also collaborating with some key players, uh, bringing the technology to consumer market. Um, we are planning to release two main products for consumer next year, wearables and AR displays. Uh, the company has over 200 patents. Um, we have uh, 21, we actually have around 1.2 million revenue this year, uh, over five, and next year we anticipate over 10 million revenue. Um, so the company was founded in 2016 by myself and Ehsan. Uh, we've been working together on OLED and later micro LED, and uh, we decided to start a company to focus on, on the printing process. Uh, we have raised two series of funding um, so far, around uh, close to $40 million uh, from Samsung, LG, Vico, Cycle Capital, TDK, Vitro, EDC, and BDC, and one uh, other strategic uh, customers that will be announced later. Um, we also raised uh, close to 12 million of non-dilutive funds. So um, we have our own facility in Waterloo that we create micro LED. We have a clean room uh, uh, and, and cartridges and also a clean room for printing micro LED into the surface. Um, so uh, in order for micro LED display become cost competitive, we need to address kind of four major area and not just cost competitive to be a mainstream displays in the market. Uh, the one is need to be yield and then throughput cost and performance. Uh, these are uh, mostly associated with the printing process uh, and can be addressed by a proper printing solution. So um, even when you look at yield, the more complicated printing that you use with multiple steps, you're going to have more yield issues because every step is, has a finite yield, and when you multiply them together, you're going to get a lower yield process. Um, and a lot of time, the, the also the transfer could include some non-ideality if you are using uh, some sort of lasers or, or, or other solutions for transferring LEDs to substrate, it could introduce non-idealities like breaking LEDs, like uh, tilting, rotation, all those things that could create defects. Um, the throughput part of it is also come from two main areas. One is um, uh, how many steps you need to take to make it, to transfer an area of LED into the substrate. And then the other one, how, how long each step takes. So um, the, the big problem with a lot of solutions is that they take a lot of complicated steps to, to uh, enable the LED to be transferred to the, uh, to the surface. And also at the same time, if you, some of the main steps takes a long time. So for we at Vuriel, we've been working on, on solving those two issues. The cost, majority of cost right now is associated with material cost and repair. So if you can reduce the cost of material and reduce the number of repair, the LEDs, micro LED would have a good chance in the market. Then you can focus on operation cost. Uh, so how you're going to address material cost, you have to pack more LED in the same wafer. So the pitch should be as small as possible. And not just the LED, the pitch should be as small. Uh, and also you need to have minimum yeah, uh, uh, the repair requirement. Uh, the other part of it is performance. Um, uh, most of wafers right now, they have a uh, non-uniformity LED. And, and especially if you go to larger wafer, that's non-uniformity is even going to be worse. So depending on what process you use to transfer the LEDs into the substrate, you could transfer those non-uniformity directly to displays. Uh, and also, uh, uh, Inherently, any process is going to have defects. So if you are using a, a, a micro LED wafer, it's going to have defects. How you can manage those defects and not transfer them to a display is going to affect, again, the performance. So what we did at Viuriel, we developed a printing process without laser. So essentially, we have a, um, a MEMS-based structure that releases the LEDs directly to, sub uh, to the substrate. We don't pick LEDs, um, and so the, the wafer, the, every process happens at the wafer levels, um, so by the, by the time we are done,